Oh, hello there. Oh. <laughs> I never expected I'd bump into all of you around here. Hugo, it's great to see you again. Rosine and Becky told us that you disappeared. So they're both doing well then. Okay, good. In fact, why don't you give me the rundown of what you've been up to all this time? You've got me curious now. Everyone explained. So Becky's on the nonsense now, is she? Ah, of course she is. I can hardly think of a more Becky move. But I, I guess you're here on business? His company is one of the RF store's biggest clients, so that doesn't really surprise me. That's right. It was backbreakingly difficult, but once I helped Becky escape, I made it all. I made it home to Heimdall. For all, it's just so probably the safest place in the country. Always calmest in the eye of the storm, you know. It does make sense. Even though Fiona wasn't exactly safe when she was there. Relatives of known reformers to any class seven members are notable exceptions. But I can see it being a safe place for most. Heading over there on your own is pretty bold, though. You're tougher than you look. Bear in mind, the city's not without its problems. The flow of information is in a tight lockdown than anywhere else. Ordinary citizens can't even approach the palace by foot or by vehicle, and, uh, <laughs> no one knows where the Imperial family is. Oh, what's going on within the Alliance, for that matter? Nobody's got any idea what they intend to do next. Figures. Then, you haven't heard anything about where Angelica, or my mother, could be. Hmm. Afraid not. Taking a few business trips of Royal since the war uh, started, but I haven't heard a peep about them. It's not like I can stroll into Reinfurt's corporate HQ and start asking questions either. Sorry, I really can't be more of help. Don't be, you've given us plenty of useful information as it is. But just be careful if you keep up all this uh, city hopping, okay? Right back at you. Give my regards to Becky, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay, great, 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 Lind! Green? Lind? I'm happy to see you all well. What brings you to Rower? That's a long story. You got a few minutes to spare? They explained. Yay! So Fifi's okay. Oh, thank goodness. Yep, she's all observing the nonsense right now. <laughs> How wonderful. Glad to be the bear of good news. I'm sure Vivi will be thrilled to know that we found you as well. So, well, more than usual at least. So, you've been working here part-time? That's right, I escaped the academy uh, with a small group of people. After a while, we all ended up in Roar. And, although to be honest, I've... Uh, I've been going to a little... I've been going a little stir-crazy mind to go out and search for Vivi. I've been so worried. Couldn't muster the, uh, I couldn't muster up the courage to leave town and go wandering through a war-torn country on my own, though. Yeah, not a great strategy, that one. Made the right call, as painful as it might have been. By the way, you wouldn't happen to have heard anything about Angelica and Arena Reinford's whereabouts, would you? Uh, uh, sorry, I haven't. Wish I could be a little bit more helpful. Oh, no, please don't worry about it. Still have an investigation to do. Something's going on here, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. Keep doing what you're doing and leave that to us. If you insist, be careful. If there's, everything, uh, if there's ever anything I can do to help, just come and find me. I won't be going anywhere. We will. Thanks. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to, at some point, liberate Roa. Through the process of not liberating Trista, of trying to liberate Trista, we're going to liberate everywhere but Trista. And once that happens, we'll be able to come back and pick up Linz at the very least. There wouldn't be... Th there wouldn't be students here if we didn't have the opportunity to come back and, and uh, get them later, basically. Been a while since we were last in Ruhr Airport. Yeah, not since our field study here. Hmm. Well, there's only one ship here. Reminds me a lot of the Heimdall one. Probably the same model, honestly. I think this is the same airliner we boarded back in Greyheart. Might be. It's not like the war put an end to air travel. I don't see the Lusitania around here anywhere, though. Not that that comes as a huge surprise. Lusitania. It's a huge luxury. Uh, it's a huge luxury passenger liner built by the Third Factory. 
It's one of the company's most famous creations, uh, uh, but from what I've heard, it was seized by the Alliance. Worse yet, Dukai Yane supposedly made his, uh, it his personal ship, too. Uh, looks like the rumors might actually be true. Stands to reason. That might be the only airship big enough for his ego. That guy's unbelievable. Probably wouldn't have dared if the chairman was in her rightful position. Which means she's been locked up for a while now. Hmm. Putting that aside for now, we should look around. Might be able to find something useful around here. Perhaps. Perhaps. Or not. Based on how much I'm actually seeing it's, uh, stuff around here. Ooh, could I get on? Nope. 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 Hmm. It's not like we haven't seen this before. Well, this building looks the same as it ever did. Except for the new guards, of course. Yeah, sure wasn't the provincial army last time, the last time we were staying here. Angelica did say that Mother was locked away somewhere, but definitely didn't sound like this was the place. I'm sure that things are pretty chaotic inside with her officially missing, though. Hmm. Who shall we see get out? He looks familiar. Good day, Lord Ragnar. Oh. Please allow me to take your belongings. Good man. That's... Know that guy? Not exactly friends, but yeah. He's the director of the first factory, Heidel Ragnar. Oh. He's also Angelica's uncle. He is a f... His facial hair. So silly. His eyebrows. So silly. My, my. Sometimes feels as though the book will never end. Serving as the group's acting chairman is no easy task. It's no wonder Arena ended up falling ill working like this. <laughs> I do hope she'll be fit to return to work before too long. I indeed. Well, if you need me, I'll be unwinding on the 24th floor the t uh, for the time being. Having all this unnecessary exposition coming out of my mouth is just so tiring. Would you bring some tea along for a little later, would you? Much obliged. I would have asked the chairman's maid for that, but alas, she's nowhere to be found. But, sir, that floor is... What was that, Dalton? Is there something you want to say to me? No, sir. Not at all. Hmm... Did he say acting chairman? So that guy's standing in for your mother, Elisa. What was that falling ill stuff about? What a, what a load of nonsense. There's no way she's sick. That aside, the 24th floor is my family's home! That's right, that's where we stayed during our field study. He's from one of the four great houses, so I'm sure he holds a high rank in the Alliance. But doesn't excuse this sort of behavior. He's taking advantage of the chairman's absence to do whatever he pleases. Ah, uh, it'd be one thing if he just took over the company, but it's like he's trampling over our personal lives, too. Still, given the way that things are right now, there's no way we can get any closer to the building. Yeah, we're going to have to gather information somewhere else right now. Oh boy. Just uh, a few more play- Oh my, we're gonna break in someone's house and get some information. Oh, you look- Oh, instructor! I knew you look familiar. Aren't you the one who was like, getting along with, um... Mint's uncle. At Makarov, I think. Oh my, if it isn't class 7. Instructor Mary? It's so great to see you, Instructor. I can't believe my eyes. It all feels like a wonderful dream. <laughs> if it is, I don't want to be woken up. I managed to fully twist it with a number of students in tow a while ago, and together we've made our way here. I've been staying at Mint's house ever since. Oh, is this Mint's house? Oh, uh, okay. That sounds like something I should have remembered, but... Uh, maybe if we, we should have talked to her and let her know that she lived here. I'm not sure where she is right now, sadly. We were together at one point, but next I looked, she was gone. Yeah, she mentioned that. But there's no need to worry about her. She's been flying aboard, uh, around with us aboard the nonsense. Really? That's fantastic news. Oh, adios. Thank you so much. But wait. What are you 
doing here in the first place? Well, <laughs> we explained. I see. It's hard to avoid the unpleasant rumours about the Marquis and his family as of late. I haven't seen Angelica for quite a while either. I just hope she's alright. Well, we better get back to looking for clues. I'm afraid we need to be off now, Instructor. It's great to see you again. Likewise, I won't stop you from doing what you're doing, but try not to expose yourself to more danger than necessary. Duly noted. We're gonna do that anyway, so no one cares. Now if you excuse us. We're going to go do all the fun stuff. Your mint's mother. What are you cooking? My younger brother's fiance is staying with us for now. Are they fiancés now? Oh, congrats! Oh, I had no I I didn't know they got that far. That's perfectly fine uh, by me, of course. I mean, she's going to be part of our family one day. Our home is her home. This is a great opportunity to get to know her better, too. If I need to be completely certain that she's a good match for my beloved little brother, don't I? Is that why you're cooking that? Looks like you want to kill her. Hey, Instructor Mary. You're going to be so happy here. There's no way Lady Angelica would ever give up. I'm sure she's just fine. Have you forgotten about the way she defied all odds to go to the Academy Festival? And we didn't even get to see her. Hmm, uh huh? I really hope Lady Angelica's alright. I'm so worried about her I can barely sleep at night. Hmm, so does she have fangirls like, uh, Laura does? <laughs> hmm. I'm pleased to hear that everything seems to be going well for you. I believe that it was the goddess's guidance that brought you here after all. I may be listening to what I can do to aid you, but know that you have my full support. Thank you, father. Oh. Ooh. I will keep striving to do everything I can. Now, if you'll excuse me. That actually, that sort of sounds like Angelica herself. <laughs> I'm... Okay. Welcome to Ruhr Cathedral. Have you all come to pray for the goddess's guidance? You sound like Angelica. Just your voice. You sound like you're really trying hard not to, but you sound like Angelica. Elisa. Strange, I've never seen her around here before. Guess she must be new. Kind of an odd time to take your vows as a sister, huh? True. I guess the church may be uh, working on its own independent initiatives and, uh, to bring the war to an end. Hmm. Weird. Huh. Uh, we're getting. We're not getting anywhere. Especially when the Alliance has the city so completely under control. That's for sure. Wandering around's giving us a lot of information, but none of it actually relates to why we're here. Could there be something we're missing? Yeah, it's probably Angelica. Huh? It's fine. I can't imagine um, getting a call from someone on the nonsense either. Just no way when they're uh, they're within calling range. Well, only way to find out who our mystery caller is. Hello. Is that you, Elisa? It's Yuna. How have you been? Okay, I was expecting Angelica big time. Yuna? What a pleasant surprise! I'm doing just fine, how about you? Haha, <laughs> me too. But more to the point, I realize this is a bit sudden, but could you meet me at the diner? We've got something really important to discuss with you. Mm, if it's that important, then sure. Hold on. How do you know I was back in Roar? Haha, <laughs> I'll tell you that when I see you. Anyway, later. Wait, hold on! Beep, 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 beep. She hung up on me. And as one of your friends, right? That's right. She told me she has something important to talk to us about. She wants us to meet uh, her at Devante's Diner near the city's west exit. It's not really like we've got any better leads. Let's head on over. Okay. Well, this doesn't look run down at all. Well, it's open. There aren't any customers in, though. Yuna, Anse, are you in there? Ah, there you are. It's open, come on in. Well, if you say so. Thanks. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yuna, demands. Hey there, Elisa. So you've got your friends with you. Oh, I've missed you, Elisa. So happy to see you're all right. <laughs> yeah, same here. So, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, you know. Please, allow me to explain. You still sound like Angelica? I've been eagerly anticipating your arrival, Class 7. A sister? Wait, didn't we just meet you back in the cathedral? What brings you here? Wait a second. You sound a lot like... Yeah, now that we all get our voices back. Are you... You couldn't be. <laughs> oh, but I am. It's so the grand reveal. Dun, dun, da. Caught it. It really is you. Angelica? Oh, hey, guys. I sure wasn't expecting you to come all the way out here after our talk. I never would have expected to find you in that getup of all things. You're the last person I picture when I think sister, so the thought never even crossed my mind. Crossed my mind, though, because her voice sounded like her. <laughs> then my disguise worked even better than I thought it would. It doesn't hurt that you actually had a voice. Finally, all that crap that got drilled into my head on how to be a lady while growing up came in handy. <laughs> so undercover stuff, that's what you're going to use it for. Okay. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to put it to good use. Moving right along, what made you disguise yourself in the first place? Oh, I'll explain that while I'm bringing you up to speed on everything else. Devance, you mind bringing out some hot drinks for us? <laughs> sure thing. Oh, okay. So, that's how you ended up coming here. I should have known telling you guys not to worry would make you do the exact opposite. What else do you think it would- What else do you think it would do? We could just ignore it. What if you're in trouble? The situation here is even worse than I thought it would be, too. Heidel Rogner seems to have the complete, uh, complete control over the whole company. I'm afraid so. About half of the factories in town have been shut down. Uh, the ones that are so active are being used to make arms uh, and the like for the Noble Lions. Where it is, they're using them to make more soldats, too. Mm. So if we can take this town, we'll be able to cut off their um, ability to make stuff at source. Yes. People here seem to be cr uh, growing all the more unhappy but, uh, with the Nobles, too. Did you run away from home because you want to try to do something about what was happening here? Basically, yeah. I'm the daughter of a family that rules this province. I figured I gotta try to do something. Right now I'm in the middle of gathering supporters within the provincial army in the city. Two of which are Devance and Yuna. Hmm. Knowing that you have supporters in the provincial army as well is suddenly encouraging. Wait. Is that soldier who allowed us to come into town one of them? You got it. <laughs> you must have noticed you were friends of mine and decided to let you through. That's sad, I don't have all that many supporters in the army. Or, uh, most are still loyal to my father. And surprising as it may be, my father feels kind of guilty about the occupation of Heimdall. He does? Huh, that really is a surprise. He's one of the big four, so I figured he'd be all in favor of what the Alliance is doing. He's not a fan of the reformists, but... His loyalty to his majesty is genuine. I guess he's just one example of how the alliance isn't totally united from within. Just before I left home, we ended up getting into a big argument. Right in the middle of it, he shouted, If you're so damn sure you're right, prove to me with brute force. I'm not really sure how to respond to that. He sounds a, a lot more manly than I was expecting. Reminds me of dad, actually. Still, if he's willing to listen to uh, that way, he must have his doubts about the Alliance, uh, what the Alliance is doing, right? That's what I figure. Anyway, right now he's taking command of the army uh, over at the Swords Drake Barrier. Meanwhile, a few of the soldiers there are waiting for my words to act. I've got a few armored cars and soldats available to us, too. When the time comes, I intend to give my father exactly what he wants. I'll beat him my way. I'll beat my way into him. 
<laughs> As you can see, there's not really much you can do. This is between me and my father. It's a Ragnar family issue. I'm happy you cared enough to come all the way here, but would you mind just leaving this to me? But, well, at the very least, we can try to save um, Elisa's mom, right? I'm afraid I can't do that. This isn't just a Ragnar family issue. Rower and, above all else, the Ryan for Company are both just as involved. Maybe you could argue that it has nothing to do with my classmates, but it has everything to do with me. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You want to sell things with your father with your own hands, and I want to rescue my mother with mine. So please, Angelica, won't you let me help you? <laughs> wow, you're really something, Elisa. <laughs> I still say it has plenty to do with us, too. I've come all this way. I don't want to leave without doing anything at all. Here, yeah, I'll sure. And besides, not only did we receive plenty of help from your mother, Elisa, but you helped us too, Angelica. You helped us to the point of angering your father and getting expelled from the academy, remember? Can't you just give us a chance to pay you back for all we owe you? Uh, me getting pulled out of Thor's wasn't your fault either. I just wanted to rebel against father, and I paid the price for it. Not that anything I say will dissuade you now that you've made up your minds. I know how you guys work. Then it's okay. Yep, I'd be happy to have your help. Let's sell things with my father, rescue Arena, and put things back to normal and rower. Together. Right. After a few pleading words, Angelica accepted Class 7's assistance. The uh, with the matter settled, they reported back to Toa on the nonsense using the oval computer in the diner. Hmm, why were you being shot at earlier then, Angelica? Where were you? Where did they find you at? Hmm, thank goodness. I'm so glad that they were able to meet up with you and Angie. I'm so, I'm so happy. Angie, just what are you wearing? I make for a pretty hot sister, don't I? I'm glad I got the chance to show you my perfect and oh-so-very-beautiful disguise while I still had it on. Ah, for the love ideas. Anyway, we're going to stay and help Angelica with what she's been doing. We should be able to free Roar from the Alliance's control. Okay then, we'll do all we can to support you from here. Do you know where the chairman is then? Actually, hold on. Didn't you say you found out where she's being held, Angelica? Oh, yeah, I haven't told you yet, have I? She's, uh, up at the Sasha and Iron Mine. More specifically, she's on board of the Isengraf that's currently stopped at its freight station. I can show you the way once we get there. The Isengraf? Last saw on our way to Grelly Fortress, didn't we? Huh, so that's where Gramps' train is. Was seized by the Alliance, then my uncle decided it was, uh, his to play with. It's pretty ritzy on the inside, and he's not being treated all that badly. But the real problem is the security. It's all being handled by Jaegers. Ooh. Oh, I know what you mean. From what I heard, Director Heidel was never able to look at my mother in the eye. You can tell that he wants her as far away as possible uh, to rest control of the company. But since he's limited in how far he can actually go, he's put her there. And if what you're saying is right, once we rescue your mother, regaining control of the company shouldn't be so difficult. Yep, rescuing your mom is gonna be the hard part. Everything from there should be downhill. That means you won't need to worry about her being used as a hostage against you. Plus, you'll be able to focus on things at Swords, Drake, Barry, without needing to worry about things in Rower. Sounds like we're good to go. Let's just review the operation one more time. First, we go to Sasha and Iron Mine and Free Arena. Second, we rescue Ryan for Company's headquarters from my uncle and place him under arrest. Third, we head to the Swallows, Rocky Berry, and settle things with Father. Yeah! That's a lot to do. We're gonna need to be quick about it. We, wanna, uh, we don't want to give the Marquis time to come to us before we can go to him. Yeah, we're going to uh, need to make sure we got all we need before starting. Once we start, there's no turning back. We're gonna need you two for backup, Toa, George. You can count on us. We'll be waiting as close to Broer as we possibly can so that we can rush in if you need us. Take care. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, let's get ready to head for the mine. Right.
Angelica joined the party. Cool. We and Angelica now use overdrive. Cool. Number of members in the party is temporarily increased to seven. Cool. Ah, Angelica's master quartz. The master quartz Angelica equipped with emblem has a special effect. Regardless of what the what they would have been, all battles randomly have a chance of becoming triple advantage encounters when she leads the party. Battles initiated by foes are no exception. So settling in, uh, setting Angelica as your party leader is highly recommended. Okay, I suppose it is. No problem. Here I go. <laughs> She's in. Oh my goodness, she has her. She has her thing. Oh, this is great. And that's literally all she can wear. I, I would at least give you glasses. <laughs> Super spy nun. Yeah. Okay, well, that's probably a good place for me to end it for today. Oh, okay, so... We're probably gonna... Yeah, we're gonna liberate Roar, basically. That is the plan. Ba that's part of our plan. Um... Mm, well, it go that smoothly, though. The Jaegers. I wonder if he's... Um, old Jaeger buddies are there. Probably not, I'm gonna say. It's just for guarding. Those seems like the, uh, those seem like the type that are more offensive, or at least they're put on the offensive front. Either way, okay. Well, I'll see you guys all next time. Drive safely, everyone. <laughs> well then, off we go. Dare I ask oh, if you intend to travel shoot. dressed like that? <laughs> Naturally, I'm as loved as Adios herself around these parts. Is this really her? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound like she's being fake. She's like faking it at all. No, I forgot to uh, turn off the volume on my TV. That was my bad. It's been a while, but... I remember this place quite well. It was, um, interesting the first time. Right, this path leads up to the mine. I can't help but think about how we fought Crow there. Yeah... But uh, we really don't have the time to think about that right now. Let's just keep moving. You're right. Stay alert for monsters, guys. Yep. Oh, she doesn't get the head thing anymore. Oh, you can just. Interesting. You can literally just we got this. You don't have to hit him from behind with her? Let's move. Oh, I got to test this out. Ha! I don't think we've actually Did we go around fighting with her in the first game? I think we did for a little bit, but I don't remember <laughs> stuff like Look that. Look at me go. Galactic can't Oh, she got an S craft. She just Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my. So it doesn't matter what direction they're facing if I hit them. They can get all that confusion and stuff. They won't even know what hit them. I guess maybe that's maybe that's Let's what it move. meant by um. Not that you'd be getting the advantages if you just ran into them, but you can hit them from the front and still get them confused and, and I don't know stuff like that. Uh, I I can't confuse it. What? Damn you! Damn you, game! This one looks really tough. Be careful. Oh, I get I get Here triple advantage anyways. Okay, never mind. I, I don't even know what to make of this anymore. Sorry. Come on, you know baby. what? Triple advantage, and I have so much advantage that I'm just gonna. Not even know what this is yet. I love that. Yeah, I, I have to clap for it. I will never use Million. I will never use another S craft for Million ever again. Because her her original S craft was pretty cool. But that Okay. That's taking over my favorite S craft from um um the mirror one. 
Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I love it. Only... Yeah, maybe I should have saved it for huh, this, but that whatever. Chest looks really nice. Can I still get triple advantage on this? Because that would be really cool. Sorry, you're not really much. No. Let's move. Oh well. Let's get this started. Second. Now! Let's go, everyone! Okay! I'll take okay. care of this! Wait. Time to shine. Wait. Angelica's like portrait for. Okay. I'm doing this mainly because I want to see. I, I mainly want to see what her portrait looks like. It looked like she was in her nun uniform. I'm not holding back this time. Oh. Time to wrap this up. It, it is. Dragon Does that mean she never goes out of her nun uniform while she's fighting in the party? I guess this must be the only time she fights with us or something. Or she really likes the fucking nun uniform when it gets down to it. And she just sticks with it for the rest of Here her life. Go. Or something like that. I don't... I don't even know. Suzaku. That sounds familiar. No, no, strength plus 25, tax crafts, call seal of burn. Hmm. I like. That would do well on Laura. Always happy to lay my hands on another chest. Shishu! Red Pendulum. <sighs> Pendulum's had a set sort of ability. I don't remember what it was, though. Okay, those were the ones that prevented multiple stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Freeze, petrify, faint. Um, I'm starting to have a whole lot of different... um stuff that has a lot of stat boosting stuff along with stopping stuff so maybe that's not the best i want i would love to keep this though i'd love to keep so many things that she has a matter of course hmm okay platinum shield creates a holy barrier that blocks one physical attack so basically he's learning from million <laughs> it's ha it's happening, guys. It's happening. This was a real hike last time. Hey, at least we already know how to get there. Hey, I mean, it wasn't really that difficult to figure out how to get there the last time. Let's be honest, that really wasn't the, the issue. We didn't actually get a chance to go this direction last time, did we? Hmm. <laughs> This doesn't even this doesn't even have like a little thing on it to tell us that oh you could go that direction later. I see a little blue box in front of me who needs to be in the body for all this. Elliot guy is nope. How can you tell guy screw up in a pretty extreme environment? His whole family is intense. <laughs> life Why is life so cruel? Stay up, stay Okay, I'm guessing they're going to have this place sealed off. It's pretty convenient that they decide to lock her up in a mine, and not somewhere... ...more... ...secure. We finally made it. I haven't seen this place in forever. Everything seems to be operating normally enough, though. Well, all the miners are still working away in there, uh, in here. The only real difference is all the acres running security, like I mentioned back at the diner. Yeah, that could be a challenge. Doesn't look like um, doesn't look like we'll have much of a challenge getting in at least. Maybe they're mostly focused on guarding Gramps' train. That would make sense. And to get there, we'll need to head inside, take a left, and then head onto the freight platforms. So, what do you say we get this party started? Any objections and run right in and punching our way through. <laughs> None here. I don't think a more stealthy option would even be viable. There's nowhere to hide that I can see. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Everyone's so gunko. Are you still here? C civilians? What are you doing here? Wait, do I know you from somewhere? 
well, regardless, this mine's kind of off limits. So scram before security spots you. Seriously, I'm saying this for your own good. Oh, come on, don't you want to help us get in? Okay, let's take a left. I think there's another way that I could go that I couldn't actually go when I came here the first time. Not actually going into the mines. 